Really? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me fill you in real quick on how we got here. So I decided to vlog last minute today, hence why we're starting off with me trying to save myself from being covered in poultice by a tiny child. Earlier this morning, I got all the chores done and then Riley came out for a lesson. She rode her pony Flash and then helped me with Ripley's rehab. And now here we are, the part where I foolishly let two young children poultice a horse. Go. Riley, go away. Go away. Riley! Are you kidding me? This is not your camera. Hang on, let me try and get this off of my pants. She put both this on me. Look at my pants. Okay, finished, right? Riley! Stop it. If it gets on my camera, you're gonna be in trouble and you won't ride Frankie. Okay. You'll just do chores. I'll make messes purposely, and you'll just have to sweep them I'll up. I'll let horses out purposely. Yeah, that'll get your butt kicked out of the barn. Get your gross little hands away from my camera. Clean! <laughs> Go away. What on earth? Are you getting the cat? Riley. Her. She's napping. She doesn't deserve a nap. Oh, Once the poultice mess was cleaned up, it was time for me to lunch thunder while Maddie and Riley finished watering the indoor. Maddie Sprayer. Sprayer. This is payback for getting poultice on me. Get her! <laughs> Go, you got her cornered! Get her! You're gonna have to change. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Riley, you're. Oh my god. You're gonna be covered in sand. Riley! Come here, horsey. Oh my lord. <laughs> Okay, now go change. Go change. I'm just kidding, Riley, there's obviously no dog poop in it. Best friend, you can be a second best friend. Can I be a second best friend? You'll be as you guys can both be a second best I'll be friend. Third. I'll be second. No, I'll be second. Or at least third. Or at least the last time. I'm the one that feeds him. Riley's I'm definitely friend. his best friend. What the heck are you guys doing? Roar. Were you trying to scare me? Yeah. I saw you in the window. Me? Yeah. Sorry, Ray. Boom. No, you're not. She's climbing in. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna boop you now. Once I managed to get the kids to stop rolling around in sand and get in the car, we went to get lunch. After I ate, I rode Nelson. Ripley, oh my god. 
What did you do that for, Ripples? In the house, and by the dog, the dog, the dog's in the house. Boo daddy, he do boo daddy. Boo's in the house. Doggy, waggy, waggy. Ah, 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 ah. No, mama, mama, ga, ga. Ah, got your room, me. And then after a wonderful flat, Frankie decided that Riley's saddle and helmet that he'd already passed upwards of 20 times was suddenly going to kill him and that absolutely under no circumstances could he go near it. Hey, it's Frankie. You better not eat me. She said, here's my mom. Can you Oh! <laughs> here's Kitty with the heart. Don't scare her. Baby, check it out. You no, baby shark, mommy no. shark, you do it to mommy okay. shark, you do it to mommy Don't, no, eat it. Mommy shark. Don't, daddy shark, you do it to daddy shark, you do it to daddy shark, you do it to daddy shark. Grandma shark, you do it to baby shark, you do it to grandma shark. Grandma shark, you do it to grandma shark, you do it to grandma shark, you do it to grandma shark. Run away, do 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 Try and hold on as best you can. This is what you need. This is gonna build that strength up again. And well, as I'm sure you gathered, Riley hopped on Frankie for a few minutes after me, but not outside because obviously there was too many monsters out there and it was not safe for Frankie. We'll see.
I don't feel bad for your puppy dog face. Yeah, I don't feel anything. Everyone can do that. Can you do it? <laughs> Once Frankie was put away, it was time to start feeding the horses dinner. After the horses were fed, I just had Kane to lunge and then I could finally head in for the night and get some rest after this very long day. So it's like 6.30, I'm gonna get the beet pulp done really quick and then I need to get Frankie ready because my mom is gonna come down here and we're gonna have a little photo shoot so that I can get some pictures in my new breeches that Goto sent me. Um, I think that was everything I needed to say. I honestly already forgot what I said. Morning, my buddy. Morning. I need your feed pant. Okay, I'm gonna get your feed pan. You wanna go outside again today? You go outside again today after you eat. It is so foggy. Oh my goodness. Thunder has on a gray fly sheet and I feel like he's just gonna blend in. I feel like we're not gonna find him. Hopefully it gets like a little less foggy before I take pictures. Like some fog would be kind of cool, but I think this might be too much fog. Hi Flash. Hi Ripley. We have to do round bales today too, after I'm done with Frankie. In case you're wondering why I'm getting Thunder when I've clearly been talking about riding Frankie, it's because Thunder needed to come in before the flies got bad, aka right now. So, change of plans. Frankie has a nail loose on his shoe. So, I'm going to get cores ready and Frankie is not going to do anything until his shoe gets fixed. While I was getting cores taken care of, the girls helped my mom unload shavings and then it was time to feed the horses breakfast. Do, 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 do. 
You can probably see in the background someone doing stalls and you may be wondering who that is or you may just not really care. But anyways, I have some exciting news. I have a working student again. And by the way, the lady in red is my mom and not my working student. My working student is still in the background doing stalls. Riley, move, move, move. And then the girls went down to see the goats and my working student went to bring in hay and I stayed in the barn and I'm pretty sure they thought I was sitting down here doing nothing, but I wasn't. I was getting cobwebs off the front of the stalls and it broke my heart when they all got back to the barn didn't notice my hard work. Just kidding, it literally didn't bother me at all that no one noticed. dangerous. Stephanie, I want to stop. You don't need that. That's for yes, horses. Do. No, that's for horses. Dude, I'm old enough to have one. And it says for livestock and I'm livestock. No, you are a I'm not a human. Not livestock. I'm a horse. I was born to be. No. Since I'm helping you, can this be a treat for helping you? No, that's for the Get horses. Kind of horse. No. It's for horses. Look. That's a picture of a horse. Yeah. Do you see a person on it? That's, no. that's me. While Maddie was convincing me that she was a horse and did in fact need a salt block, Riley was out getting flashed so that she could ride him. Maddie helped my mom and I get round bales out and we did get one in each pasture, but I only filmed one because I didn't necessarily think anyone would want to watch us do that. I have got kitty. <laughs> Once the round bales and all the other little things that seem to pile up as the days go by were done, I started getting Slew ready so that I could ride him while Riley was riding Flash. Next, the girls got Marco ready so that they could ride him. Maddie wanted to ride him again, and she actually even wanted to trot Marco today as well. This was the first time she's trotted off the lunge line in so many months, and she did so well. Once the girls were done with Marco and I showed some people around the barn, I got my new pony Geronimo out to do some groundwork with him. If you've been following along with his videos, you'll see he's doing a lot better. I learned some more about his past from a previous owner that I'll share in an upcoming video about him, but basically it confirms my suspicions that he wasn't really physically abused, just had no handling and therefore an extreme lack of knowledge for his age. He was really quite good today. No arguments while lunging and I also introduced a saddle pad to him, which I'll just leave that as a surprise for you guys to see how he did in the next vlog about his training.
By this point in the day, it's probably around 5 and the barn has been insanely busy with people all weekend so at this point I'm truly exhausted. I decided to go ahead and turn horses out and feed instead of riding more so that I could maybe have a bit of a shorter day today. That's a good look for you, Pablo. Nelson and Marco, you guys gotta come in so Geronimo can go out. Cause you guys are mean. And Pablo, well, Pablo annoys him, but it's better than being mean. Good rider. <laughs> Pablo, go away. Move. 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 